by building business credit in the trucking industry by using your trucking dispatch company. So without further ado, let's get into it. Retro. Welcome back to my channel. This is just Jaleesa Renee, everything entrepreneurship and faith now. Okay, don't forget that, that's my point. Anyway, so we're gonna get into today's topic, which is going to be something so important. Okay. Building business credit. Let's get into it, y'all. Cause I'm gonna tell y'all how y'all can start building business credit in the trucking industry by using your trucking dispatch company. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I do want to preface this conversation that most of these accounts are going to be your net 30 accounts, your net sevens, that type of thing. So if building business credit from those type of accounts is not what you're looking to do, then this video may not be for you. But if you're looking for a way to start off from the ground up and not using your personal credit to personal guarantee any type of lines of credit, then you definitely can benefit from these accounts that I'm going to mention throughout this video. So please take out a little piece of paper or you know, get your tablet in order so you can take some notes throughout this video. Do not forget to like and thumbs up this video and subscribe to the channel. Because I will continue to create content that can help y'all with your business building journey, okay? So, numero uno is going to be Uline. I opened up a Uline account and it has served its purpose as beneficial for me and what I need it for. I actually order things such as paper towel, toilet paper, Keurig refill pods. Um, I also have ordered like pens and, and office supply type of things from them. I love their customer service. When I initially set up my account, I did have a few questions. And when I tell you they have been like so kind and I had just a great experience with them. So if you're looking for something to do a net 30 with, I would recommend Uline and I will drop the link also in the description. Moving on to number two. I set up a fuel card with A to B. And A to B has been like, this is naive for me and what I need in a fuel card because you can use them anywhere. And as y'all know, gas is high, high, high. So it helps to have a fuel card where you can redeem some points, cash back, whatever the case may be because each is set up slightly different. So check them out. The link will be in the description for y'all to look more into. Okay, now moving on to number three is going to be another fuel card, which is Pilot. So I do not typically use my Axel Pilot fuel card as much as my A to B. So my opinion on Pilot's Axel card is slightly biased because again, I don't really use them. I don't live near a lot of Pilot's anyway. So for me, it has not been as beneficial as the A to B fuel card. Now, if you live in an area that has a lot of pilots or if you do a lot of traveling, then I would recommend having a pilot as well in addition to one like an A to B or even a Shell fleet card. A uh, Fuel Man fleet card is also good as well. I do not have those two, but I know plenty of people who do. And I mean, it's a fuel card, so it's, it's good to use, it's gonna have its part for your business. So check them out, I will throw the links in the description as well for those. Okay, moving on to Quill. So Quill is going to be another Net30 account. I use Quill from time to time. I don't use Quill as much as Uline. However, they do have some great product choices that you can use for your business, especially if you have a brick and mortar. So Quill and Uline are great for your office supplies and for replenishing things like your toilet paper, paper towel, and things that you're going to need for your business any 
anyway if you have especially a brick and mortar moving on to wise business solutions so this company is great 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 okay so you will want to utilize them for services such as business plans and templates i actually use my credit line with them to purchase a business plan template it has been phenomenal it's very in-depth and they have additional services such as like website building and they can also give you consultations and one-on-one -on -one help when it comes to building your business plan out in more depth if using a template does not work well for you so note that their additional services will cost more so keep that in mind when it comes to any of these net 30 accounts you have to pay these back within 30 days and you do not want to wait until the 30th day to pay them back you want to pay them within 10 to 15 days of your purchase it gives it enough time to report and it looks good to them that you're able to pay back things in a timely manner credit reporting for business and personal work a little differently and i can get more into that in another video for today i'm just going to keep it kind of surface level with some accounts that you can try out for your business okay so moving on to one of my favorites is going to be the sam's credit card so i was approved for $4,500 credit limit just starting out. So I did this again within like the wee, <laughs> the wee stages of my business and they gave me that credit limit. So my next couple of videos, I will get into more of how you can use these lines of credit to actually leverage and do other business ventures. But for now, get you a sam's credit card you will love it especially if you have a brick and mortar you can furnish your business with this credit card sam's offers furniture they offer food they offer decor plants household goods and items so y'all get you a sam's credit card i cannot stress that enough to y'all I hope this video helped y'all in terms of some good starter business credit lines that you can use to build your credit profile. Please note that all of these businesses do not report to the same credit furnishers, meaning some of them will report to Dun & Bradstreet, some of them will report to Experian, some of them will report to Equifax. It really just depends. And there are other credit furnishers out there. So you really have to make sure that they are reporting to the ones that you need for your business, okay? It's gonna vary from person to person. For me, I look for Dun & Bradstreet and Experian because for the type of business ventures that I look to start, or the type of lines of credit that I look to leverage typically are going to use one of those two for their credit scoring model. So just keep that in mind, y'all, when it comes to opening these lines of credit, not all are treated equal, okay? If you can go for Gusto and get you credit lines with American Express, uh, Capital One, Bank of America, Navy Federal, those type of credit cards, then by all means, start off with those and you will not have to kind of wait the waiting game with the net 30s, the net 60s, the net 7s, that type of thing. So for those who are in the very beginning stages and just want something to gradually work your way up to, these accounts will help you and you can truly benefit from them if you use them correctly. So I hope this helped. If it did, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment on some credit lines that y'all have for your business or if you are in the process of using any of the ones that i mentioned today do not forget to subscribe to this channel and i hope to see y'all on the next video bye y'all